back to another episode of Moving On Purpose. It's your boy Chris. And it's your boy Jerrell. Yes, and we sir. back at it with another episode, bro. How mm-hmm. you looking? Shit, man. It's, it's been a good week. Been a good week. Um, Consistent workouts. Consistent workouts. Yeah. Eating. Eating was good. Eating was all right. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't, you know. How you do financially? You cash out or you... Oh, um, this... Mean? Actually, because, like, I had... I literally just was telling you, like, I bought my... um. Oh, this was today, matter of fact. I bought the uh, ticket to Columbia. Columbia. Yeah, Columbia. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so, taking that trip. But that's like out in June. But just, you feel me? The, t- uh, the tickets was looking good. So I was like, yo. That's probably for your B-Day, right? Yeah, for the B-Day. So, yes, sir. Got to celebrate. Got, got to celebrate. Got to. But other than that, I've been pretty pretty on point with the finances. Not um, really splurging too much. Eating. I mean, but, like not too much eating out. Um, so, yeah. So this, is, this was a good week. This was a good week. What about yourself? That's what's up. Yeah, same shit, bro. Um, been in the gym. Nice. Yeah, my gains in. I can do a little better with the eating here and there. Mm-hmm. Definitely got a lot of them take home plates from mama. You know, yeah, right, right, right. The right. healthiest, it's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but um, good. aside from that, I think we had a really good week. Of course, we want to build on that, incorporate some new things, some more reading. You right. know, we're gonna have a book on the month next right. month, so be on the lookout for that. For sure. And um, yeah, bro, just excited to get another episode going. Oh, Should yeah. we hop into the quarter of the month? Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Get it. It's the quarter of the month. Let's get All it. Right. So, by the famous Stephen King, we have, you see, size defeats us. For the fish, the lake in which he lives is the universe. Mm. The mm. words, my brother. Right. How you feel about that? What that mean to you? That boy Stephen King, he preaches. Yeah, so. for sure. <laughs> but nah, for the, you see this. All right, so basically, it sounds like to me, it's like. You're my eye, cause I I don't think fish you know are elaborate things. <laughs> <laughs> so we right. are talking about to her, so um, right. But I feel like he's saying like your mind is like your mind is like your where you where you make your how, how can I I'm, I'm gonna skip the fish part because mm. I can't really elaborate. But the the second part where he says um the pond is his, is the fish universe. So like yeah. what the fish sees. Is what the fish knows. Yeah. So the, if the fish is in the fucking Mississippi River, it's not gonna know what's going on in like to in the Atlantic Ocean right. and shit. So right. just having like being able to like construct your environment basically. For sure. What's your how you feel about it? Nah, yeah, to build on that, I feel the exact same way. And like I also feel like it's just like pointing to no matter what you think. I think I finally get it now. We were talking about this earlier. Yeah. We see size defeats us because mm-hmm. we're taking ourselves out of the fish's world. Right, right. But if we are if we compare ourselves to a fish, yeah. we're literally just in our lake. The mm-hmm. fish knows nothing else but the lake. Exactly. The same way we know nothing else but our surroundings. Exactly. So you can't be mad at somebody for their upbringing. You know what I'm That's saying? You can't be mad at something at somebody for what they may or may not know. Exactly. You just have to take that perspective, that step back yeah. and try to understand where they're coming from. That's a fact. And that's very important. Like, don't get it twisted. Some, some disrespectful yeah, stuff yeah, you should yeah, not yeah, tolerate right, or stand right. for. Nah, you know that's what I'm saying? But sometimes it definitely helps just to take that step back and right. try to understand someone else's perspective. For sure, you know? for sure. Um, so I think that goes in great to the topic around crafting your environment, yep, curating yep. your environment. Curating I know environment. for a lot of like black youth and individuals, we come from environments that aren't particularly healthy for mm-hmm. our goals and mm-hmm. the things we want to set out for. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're just going to hit talk about that today. Talk about um, some of the things that we can do to get out of those funks. Mm-hmm. Um, ways to introduce new environments to right. ourselves. Right. And just talk about like the importance of having a good environment. Right. So I think we can start there. So right. in terms of environment, I'm not necessarily talking about where you're raised or anything. Because I'm, it varies by case by case. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. So <clears throat> we're really talking about the creative environment in terms of like structuring your goals and achieving what you want to achieve. Mm-hmm. Like people having supporters, like people not believing in your dreams. Right. So we can start there. Like right. have you ever been in a situation where I guess your mother or like your friend or your spouse at the time wasn't really feeling your dreams while you were in like mid pursuit. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely relate because mm-hmm. so I'm Haitian. You feel I don't know if y'all know if y'all know me, you know. Um so we come from like real like you know traditional claw types. So it's yeah. like my mom like so all right, so when I got into the film thing, my mom's like, What? What you like yeah. just like what, what you doing? Like go to go to school, go to college, you feel me? Like this 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 film thing ain't it like right. but it's like 
I understand where she's coming from because it's like to her, it's probably like he's just gonna be the guy sitting there with the camera, like da, da, da. it's yeah. like no, not a respectable career to her. No real structure. Yeah, it's no real structure, you know. But yeah. not knowing what it like the potential, what it can be. So it's like I can understand where she was coming from, but I think I don't think it like like psychologically it probably had an effect, but I don't think it had an effect where it was like I'm not gonna do it mm-hmm. or like I'm I'm gonna veer off of it. Um, but I can say that like. That was like probably one time where it was like, yo, it wasn't like, cause this, this was like when I was younger. So yeah. that's like a lot of influence when you're young, you know, like uh, parents, friends, um, yeah. significant others. I can say it wasn't much. So I don't think it's been more so like having believing in the dream. Mm-hmm. I haven't had a lot of, you know, significant other situations where it was like, it was like that deep. Yeah, that like, deep. You feel yeah. me? It's like, it's only been like one or two, but. During those, it's like, it wasn't, I feel like it was a, it was like a, um, no, nah, I ain't gonna say, nah, it was, it was, it was normal. It wasn't, it wasn't, was um, it wasn't too, like, non-supportive or, you know, destructive or anything like that. So, mm-hmm. that was probably the only time, um, as far as friends, friends definitely got a lot of support from friends, um, but I think what's important, I had mentioned to you to before, like, an environment can be healthy for someone else, but it may not be healthy for you. Yeah, for sure. So, like, the way I would relate it is, like, yo, say if, like, you're a, a swimmer or, like, a track runner, and you're trying to get, you know, a bodybuilder or wrestler's workout. Yeah. So, it's, like, I don't, it doesn't correlate. Like, you just don't fit. You feel me? So, it's both, both separately are healthy environments. Mm-hmm. Like, the, the, the bodybuilder, NFL player, whatever it is, going to do their own set of workouts where it's like, all right, it works for them. Yeah. But as a swimmer, you need more endurance and, you know, you need more other aspects. For so sure. It's like, you need a whole different workout. Exactly. It's a whole different sport. Exactly. So I think what you're saying is, like, you got to make sure your environment is conducive for what you, like, want to do. Exactly. And right. if it's not, then you got to find a way to change it. Mm-hmm. So ha- thinking about ways to change it, or just like the importance of, before we talk about ways to change it, I want to say just like the importance of having that environment. Can you talk about how like, just in terms of like, you felt hearing like, you know, not support from like your parent mm-hmm. and like versus like, you know, you got your homies that support you and mm-hmm. whatever you do. So mm-hmm. like, what's the different energy behind it? Is there a motivation to like give up, to keep going based off of like, you know, those differences? Or right. How did you feel personally? Cause I mean I know not to cut sorry. No, you go, you go, you go. But like, <laughs> he was like, I feel now. So I'm like, nah, no, no, <laughs> Wait, there's more. <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, go. Matter of fact, yeah, before I go into that, let's mm-hmm. let's go into how like if you ever had that situation or if there's been like you know mother. Of course, and, nah. Like I said, like we was talking about it earlier, and um, from my situation, I always like chased a job to fuel my dreams. Mm-hmm. So like getting the support from like my parents was easier because I was always looking for that job. Mm-hmm. Whereas if like you was doing like a more creative profession, yeah. there's no institution that's gonna like fund you until right. you get your big come up. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. like my parents just, they was cool. But I will say like when I moved out and moved back in with my parents mm-hmm. and I had a job and I could afford to go and get my own apartment, that's where some of the disconnects started happening with like my friends yeah. and just even some of my family members. Um, they just couldn't understand why, you know, I could afford to live in an apartment, but and, you know, saving yeah, living right, in my right. mom's house and dealing with all this. Right, yeah, you know, yeah. You know how it goes. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, for sure, there's been times, and then in my previous relationship, for sure, like there'd be times where I really be on my craft and mm-hmm. be looking up, um, sign like different, cause you know I want to get more invested in like in, uh, investing mm-hmm. and like day trading and things like that. Mm-hmm. So I was just looking up different things every day and I was locked in. Um, so she didn't get a lot of that attention. Mm-hmm. And, you know, things right. started happening when I want to save my money. She went yeah. out on dates and things like that. So right, right, right. Even that though, that's an environment that you have to, I'm not saying you have to cut it off. Yeah, I'm, not, right. I'm not a big cut off person. Yeah, I think yeah, relationships yeah. are very valuable. Yeah. But sometimes you just have to like adapt and move differently. Yeah. Um, so we could talk about that. Yeah. But what I was going to say, um, What's the what's the feeling behind it? Like, how do you feel differently when you're in the, like a supportive environment versus an unsupportive environment? I think, for me personally, and when, when I'm in an unsupportive environment, it's more so it it kind of invalidates that person's opinion. Mm. So like, if it's unsupportive, like, just, it's one thing to be constructive criticism. Yeah. Then there's unsupportive, like where it's like, yo, no, stop, da da da. Right. 
So then it just like it comes to a point where it's like, all right, now I don't. At least in that regard or respect, I don't value what you say in that regard. Mm-hmm. It's just like if you're telling me this way and I'm going this way, and I see the plan and you don't, it's like all right, whatever you say now is just you could be getting saying good advice like yo, I don't think da 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 da, but it's like I can't. I don't hear it now because you're just, you're being unsupportive with yeah. it. So I think that's what it like that, the feeling for me at least, and that goes with a lot of things. I feel like um. Cause people like people don't have the same like all right. If you want to do something, you have you looked into it, you did the research, you did the you found out the information, and you're moving off of that. Yeah. People are moving off of whatever they feel or whatever because they didn't go in and find they it. They don't have the same. They don't. They don't have it. That's so they, fact, they don't like understand it. Yeah, they don't understand what you did or like how you got to that point. Yeah. So they're going off of just you know their hear, like hearsay he she said whatever it is or, or probably like what they seen somebody yeah, else try to do exactly it like, you know exactly what I'm exactly yeah. so you got to just take it from that like yo I I'm doing this from what I know and mm-hmm. what I've you know came come to find out so it's like just ignoring that it's like okay I understand like you don't gotta nah fuck you I ain't trying you gotta you gotta get on some super shit but, yeah same shit oh uh, but just, <laughs> just, just let them know, like, ah, I understand, I understand it, but I, I still want to, you know, go after what I'm going to go after. And to be honest, like, that's amazing that you feel like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure that takes time to develop. For sure. But that's the way you should go about right. it, I feel like. Right. Um, we all can't construct our environments and tailor-make it to the way we want them to be, mm-hmm. whether it be, like, removing people from our lives, right. getting out of certain, like, areas geographically. Yeah. But we can just ignore thoughts that don't, coincide with what we trying to do. Right, right. So I think that takes a while to build up, bro. Because, like, sure. when people used to, like, I used to tell people my dream and shit, and then people, I didn't get that, like, immediate reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to be like, damn. Right, right. You start double thinking. You start like, thinking, like, really? it's not yeah, it, bro. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. damn, they're not feeling it. Right, right. But everybody don't got to feel it, bro. Yeah. The best thing I say is, I, what I told myself is, like, stop trying to sell your dream to people. Mm-hmm. Nah, they don't got to. For sure. You're not sure. pitching to investors. Exactly. You know what I'm <laughs> You just don't got to believe. They that's just going to see it when that's you make fact. it happen. That's a fact. So I think that's the perfect way to go about it. But segway, se- right. segueing into how we create more positive environments mm-hmm. for ourselves, um, what's some ways you think we could do that? And what's, what's some ways you've done for yourself? I can say curating your environment. I think... Finding out where your ideal self or the ideal people would be and in inserting yourselves in their environments. For instance, let's say... Wait, say that again? Finding where your... Like, the ideal... Like, all right, let's say you have a goal. Mm-hmm. And because to attain that goal, you have to be a different person. Because if you were that person already, you wouldn't have... You wouldn't achieve that goal yet. Because once sure. you achieve that goal, it's like, all right, I'm here now. Right. And I'm not the same person I was. Right. So let's say you want to achieve something, right? And trying to be in or like surround yourself with people or enter an environment that encourages you to get to that goal. Or, you know, like, let's say you want to, um, you want to, let's say, all right, let's, let's be real, like materialistic with it. You want to like drop a Ferrari or something, right? Yeah. I think, and this is like base level, like simple, but like just go, let's say like people have car meets. The entry fee for a car meet is zero dollars. You just got to show up. So you go to a car meet and now like you're in the environment of people that attain those things that you want. Right. And it's like, you're not about to leave there next day. All right, let me go to the <laughs> yeah, right. I was at a car right. meet, so now. Right. But like just being in that environment, now you can like understand what it takes to get a Ferrari or like for sure. how people like for achieve sure. that or like, you know, so just getting in those environments that like people that achieve what you want or want to um, just... Or people that's on that journey, you feel right. me? So like, you meet somebody else, like yo, um, I'm trying to. He's like, yeah, you want a Ferrari too? I would, yeah. how, how, how you go about it? Like, right, what yeah. you, you feel? So now y'all talking. And now about he might know somebody. He might put you on the waiting exactly, list. Exactly. You know exactly. Right. 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 Like right. So I think that's what it is, and that's just like simple terms. Like you know, you can put it like to whatever whatever you're going for, but. That's just simple terms. For yeah, it. like you said, like just getting yourself in the door mm-hmm. of the people that's been having them conversation or that's already where you want to be. Right. It may be hard for certain things, like if you want to be an actuarial accountant or something, yeah. you might have to go to college. Yeah, right, 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 right. You might have exactly. to do that. So you right. just got to know what's necessary for your path and mm-hmm. then um, try to find little creative ways to get in the door. Like you exactly. said, a car meets probably free. And exactly. if it isn't, I mean, I'm sure you could just walk up. No, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 Okay. You don't have a car, so okay. you could just walk okay. up. Yo, um, that's, I want to add on to that. Not yeah. to cut you off. That's nah, a great right. point. Just entering the, like, just take, like, because they'll have a lot of credentials around shit. Yeah. 
But just stepping up and like just trying something or just doing it, you will be surprised at how, like how much you could like just blow past credentials and all that shit. Like, yeah. some, like you'll see a listing be like, yo, uh, five years experience and bachelor's degree and such and such. There'll be stories where people just like, yo, I literally applied, knew somebody or like, you feel me, just tried it and yeah. got the position. So yeah. don't let credentials That's how scary. most things happen. Right. So yeah, like you said, if you need credentials or certain amount of things or certain qual- pre-qualifications mm-hmm. that you don't have to enter these meetings, take a swing. If they <laughs> swing. Sometimes swing swing. Some, some person might find you that likes the event and like and admire you, like your ambition and right. might let you in for free right. and then right. make you pay for the next one. Or right, right, but, right, um, right. Just try to finesse it, try to finagle it. Right. Um, but there's also, I want to say, there's also different ways. You say you can't, you don't got transportation, mm-hmm. you can't really go nowhere. How do you create a better environment? You don't got money to move out. Mm-hmm. Your parents are your parents. Right. You, you tell me your situation is your situation. I say, start with like what you look at online. Mm-hmm. I feel like we spend all day on our phones, especially our generation Gen Z. Right. Um, so try to curate what's on your timeline you know what mm-hmm. i mean you are what you watch on your timeline Thanks. so um fact. make sure if you want to be an investor start following some finance pages exactly. um if exactly. you want to be like you know a dancer start getting more hip with the dancing exactly. culture yeah. um just keeping things around you that motivate you because i yeah. feel like when you have that good environment that yeah. help um it just keeps you motivated yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. Like not only like sometimes I'm sure we all go through this thing where it's like, damn, I want to do this. Yeah, and yeah, feel yeah, great. yeah, right. And right. next day we roll over. Uh, the next week, yeah, and right. then we might fall off. And it's yeah, like, hey, yeah, yeah. Party. That's but bad. if you stay in that environment, it's gonna keep you there a little right. bit longer. I feel like. Yeah, it's a constant reminder. Like, yo, for sure. keep doing this. Keep doing this. Cause like, like we're we're creatures of habit and repetition. Mm-hmm. So like, just getting those reps. It's the same thing. Like we're working out. Doing yeah. you bench pressing to build muscle, you bench pressing on your phone, or you feel me, build that that cognitive thought. Like, yo, this is this is what I want. This is what I'm after, and it's like just a reminder every day. If you're yeah. gonna be scrolling anyway, at least see what you you're trying to like strive for. Exactly. A way to like, eat, let's say, all right, because I think it's good to separate it too. I I made like a little burner account where it's like I just have like literal only like motivational stuff and you know just things that are in a direction where I'm trying to go. And that's, I feel like, not to cut you off, I want you to keep that same thought, but that's a great idea for someone like, if you hear what I just said, I was like, bro, I'm not about to just Yeah, right, 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 yeah, whole, exactly, mess exactly. up my whole timeline for yeah. this. Like you said, create right. a different account. Exactly, exactly. So it's like, you still can tune in with your females. Right. You feel me? You still can tune in with your dudes, your females, you know? Do Whatever what you it is. Like, so, like, keep up with the friends and everything, but on that separate account, it's like, yo, it's nothing but, like, you don't follow anybody. Mm-hmm. Only people that are on the path, not on the path, but, like, just... That are like at the goal that you're trying to reach, or like mm-hmm. have the information that you're um, trying to attain. And another thing I want to touch on in terms of like online is mentors too. Mm-hmm. Personally, I wouldn't say I have like a go-to mentor. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I got people in my life I could go to, yeah, right. father figures and stuff like yeah. that. But in terms of like a mentor for my goals, I wouldn't say I have one. Mm-hmm. But with that being said, I utilize tools like YouTube, podcasts yeah, yeah. to follow inspirational people that I like. Right. Look at their journey, see right. where they come. Right. Like look at old videos yeah. if they're like a YouTuber. Yeah, see right. like, right. oh, this is how they started. Right. This is how we could map yeah. up a blueprint to follow something like that, but right. put your own flavor on yeah. it, you know? Yeah. So I feel like, especially mentors, like that was the whole thing. Like my time in school, they'd be like, oh, you gotta get a mentor, mm-hmm, you gotta get a mentor. Mm-hmm. I hear my, I got uh, colleagues talking about, oh yeah, I just spoke to my mentor. And I, mm-hmm. I used to feel just like, so like, Damn, I don't got a mentor. Yeah, right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, I, 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 I went on LinkedIn. I tried to find a mentor. Yeah. It didn't work out. I want my mentor to be super organic and I mm-hmm. want it to be natural. Yeah. Um, I feel that. But at the same time, like, if none of that is working for you like it wasn't for me, you, there's a lot of resources online where mm-hmm. you can just follow people that inspire you. And, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're not a mentor, but right. I'm sure they got, like, clips of them online right, giving right. out free games. Right. Or something that you could just soak up. So. Mm-hmm. There's always different ways to finesse it. So That's a fact. Just make sure that, you know, when you say curate your environment, understand just you can do more things. It, it, it's not, it doesn't always have to be super drastic. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? right. But small tweaks. Small, small tweaks. tweaks. Even like, you start, you're on your phone, even your room. Like, let's say your room, like, all right, you're trying to, you're trying to read more. Yeah. Let's, you know, let's take the Xbox out of the room, put it in the living room. Dude. Or put it in a closet if you really, yeah. you're really trying to get down and dirty. Yeah. And then, like, get, like, a stack, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Get a stack of books or unsubscribe from um from Xbox Live and subscribe to um Audible. Yeah. You know, or like it's just it's just little things where you could just 
when you remove something and you add something, you're doing two things at once. Mm. So you're getting rid of a bad habit, incorporating a good habit. So it's like two times the two times the like the benefit with one thing, one thing yeah. happening. So I think that's another thing. So like your room is really because you wake up and go to sleep in your room. That's where you spend a lot of time. Like you sleep in your room. You like wake up. Everything around in your room is like, yo, this is this is this is like your little like yeah. your little cubicle. You feel yeah. me? And like your little space in the world is your room. Yeah. So if you have that luxury, because even like I, I'm gonna say growing up, like it, it took me a while to get my own room. You feel me? So mm-hmm. like now that you feel me, you got cribs and all that shit. But it's just having that space where like, all right, this is my little square in the world. And use that to like, yo, put your goals up, yeah. put your vision up, put yeah. whatever, like just to have that visual representation, like, yo, cause in your, it's not real until like it's physical on the paper or on the work, like on the, on the wall right. in the world. It's an actual thing. Now you see it. It's like, all right. Okay. Cause we think about it's shit every day. Yeah. Now. It's a possibility. Yeah. We think about a lot of shit all the time. So you could keep like putting in thought. So like just having that reminder, like, okay, every day that reminder is there, every day that reminder is there. And it just... So that manifestation. It's trickle down. Yeah, yeah. Right. The manifestation and stuff, it sounds corny. Social yeah, right. media played it out, mm-hmm. but it's a fact. That's just a fact. That's something right. you just got to keep doing, bro. That's keep them fact. images in your head. Keep mm-hmm. them on your wall. Make them physical. Right. Um, do what you got to do to curate your environment. Right. Is there anything else you want to touch on in terms of that? Or we can hop into the game. Um... Yeah, that was pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I, it's actually my bad. I'm gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm gonna be doing that shit a lot. <laughs> Before we yeah. do, I just want to emphasize something my boy Chris said. It's like I want you to understand that different environments uh, are good for. I had a word, but I I forgot the word. But they're they're good for different things. Right, like, right. Um, so I don't want you to like hear this and realize like your home may not be the best environment yeah, like right. your parents may not be supportive of your dream and start right. hating your parents exactly because nah, they nah, still nah, nah, you nah, feel nah. me i'm sure they're doing something that exactly. benefits you exactly you know so it's, it's different things for different environments for different goals mm-hmm. so exactly just want to emphasize that point. right i'm gonna piggyback on that too because like we hear a lot oh show me your five friends and i'll show you your bank some shit like that yeah. you know how they be like yeah so uh and then people would just feel like yo i gotta drop everybody or like I got to get rid but like, just cause now let's say the person's negative. Yeah. Get rid of them. You feel mm-hmm. me? Or if they, they're not any way deposited into your life or it's just strictly withdrawals. Yeah. Get rid of them. But if it's just a different environment, just limit it. You feel me? It's like, all right, we're, we're going to like, we both would be moving in positive directions, right. but you're moving this way and this way. Like, nor... I ain't gonna say north because there's only one north, but you could be moving the, like parallel in positive directions, mm-hmm. but just not on the same boat. You feel me? So yeah. just figure out your environment, what's good for your environment, and you know try to try to incorporate and collaborate the best way I can, and then where I can't, it's just like all right, we leave it up there. Yeah, man, you ain't gotta cut your fun friends off. Right, right. We know we got friends for right. fun, yeah. friends for business, yeah. friends for other things. We exactly. got friends for different occasions. Exactly. Same way you got friends for different reasons. You got environments for different, you know, goals. So, exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. I think that's important, man. Don't don't that's cut right. everybody off unless there's absolutely some people you have to. Yeah. But um, you know, save those relationships, man. They're important. Murder up. You know what I mean? Murder up. You never know. People, good people hard to come around, so don't don't just be walking around. Oh, you. You, you're not making five thousand, ten thousand a month. Yeah, fuck you. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. slow down, slow down, brother, buddy. Slow Take down. it easy. I know you heard that on such and such. Yeah. Relax. I think that's where people get lost. So they think like it's just get rid of people. And I think that's it's it's, it's like it's real fickle. I feel like mm. to just 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 get rid of people just because like it's like all right, everybody's not meant to to go on the same path as you. Right. So don't get mad if they're not on that path. Right. Just, I got some friends that I noticed. Hey, you know, they may not want the same thing mm-hmm. in life to me. Mm-hmm. That don't mean we're not friends. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. We can link up. That, But that also means I'm not spending all my time. Exactly. I'm exactly. spending time by myself. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I want to do. I'm meeting exactly. people that's exactly. like-minded and exactly. doing things like that. There's exactly. a lot of time, man. You just got to maximize your time. And um, like you said, bro, I feel like social media like makes things... Like, we, we just have access to so many yeah, people. Yeah, right, yeah. It's, it's yeah, hard yeah. not to treat relationships like, oh, I can just meet somebody else. Yeah, right, you right, can. right, right. Yeah, that's a fact. But, that's like you fact. said, good people are hard to come by. Nah, we're it up. So, so yeah. man, with that being said, just a little game lighting things up. That was a deep-ass conversation. Right, right, right. Would you rather have... All right, so, would you rather live your life without support from your parents, mm-hmm. your friends, or your lover? Like your whole life, mm-hmm. and you chasing this goal, and just this one person doesn't buy in. Who would you rather have, like out of the three? 
Hmm. I think. All right. So basically, I think all right because. So this with this per, all right, let's make it like this person will be negative, right? Because I think if because not support, I don't think is is negative. Like yeah, literally like taking dream. you away from yeah. your goal. Like, okay. Like like shitting on your dream, mm -hmm. and like it's not supportive towards your dream. Mm -hmm. But they're in your life. Like yeah, this yeah, this yeah. is the hypothetical. Right? Yeah, right, like, right, of right. course. Obviously, this for y'all too. So obviously, answer, just yeah. cut them off in real right, life. Right, 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 right. But in this situation, if it had to be somebody, who would it be? Your lover, your friend, or your parents? I definitely not the lover because lover I got to deal with it every day. Yeah, every day you wake up, get out! No, like stop! Yeah, it's like yo, you can't live like yeah, that. yeah, nah, 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 nah. I sure. can't, I can't not enjoy my yeah, nah. Yeah. Every day, like yeah. So the lover's out. So between friend and parents, so I feel like with friend it'll be more so like every time we get up, like yo, man, you still doing that shit, yeah. man? Like let that shit go. So, yeah, that's how it look like. Right. So I. And with the parents, is every time you come home, if you if you if you didn't move out yet, then it's like that's another. So it really, I would say it depends yeah, on the thanks. stage of life, right? Yeah. All right, for me personally, though, I think I could I could I can probably deal with parent because mm -hmm. it's like as you're still on a mission, once you achieve it, parents will reap the benefits of the award anyway. Yeah. So it's like once I think that'll mm -hmm. that you could get rid of it that way. It's like all right. Yeah, you said stop, da da da, but now look. This happened. You're Mama, right. I'm home! Right here, right? You feel me? So it's like. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> then after that, it's like, oh, okay, I, I can't really say nothing. No yeah, you showing them love, you feel me? Exactly. So it's like, I don't think, because I don't think the not supporting a dream is like, I don't love you. It's just, yeah. I don't, I don't, I want you to have the best life. And I don't, think, and yeah. I don't think this would be the way for you. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's all coming from a place of like, yo, endearment and, you yeah. know, protection or whatever. So I think I could deal with the parent. Cause like I can solve that one. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah. You know, I was thinking friend, but then they would probably be like an irreparable relationship. Yeah, Especially right. Especially like when you make it. Yeah, right, right, like, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You thought I was, you know, exactly. I was just like, right. all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> With the parent, you're not gonna hold that. Ill. Right. Like, yeah, 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 right. But it's your mom. Right. So, yeah, you right. Feel me? Right. Um, so I feel that's a great answer. Right. You changed my whole perspective. I was, <laughs> friend, I was just like, that's the least, that's the person I'm probably going to see the least. Right, yeah, like, yeah. Every day type shit. Right, right. Because um, I'm assuming for the friend, we got love for this friend. It's not like a yeah, friend. Yeah, it's not like, just yeah, like a random yeah, friend. Yeah, you ain't this trying to. Man. Yeah, this is like your brother. Yeah, it's like, your, you, yeah, your like, brother, so, yeah. You ain't trying to just like, it's not like you, you like, you know, ah, whatever, fuck you, nigga. Right. Like, it's like somebody really got. And it's like, and it's like, yeah, you, okay, I said, you probably you probably going to see your mom when you love her more. But, uh, it depends on the person, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at the same time, you probably gonna see that friend a lot. Yeah. So it's just like every time you see this right, dude, right, he's right. constantly telling you like, on, man, bro. give it up, yeah, bro. Get yeah, a job, on, bro. Right, right. Like I'm making six figures, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right. But at the same time, I do like I see what he's saying because he's trying to help me. But mm -hmm. it's just like, bro, yeah. you gotta. It's hard, bro. Yeah, it, we say hard. we said all this in the episode, but it's really hard. Like when someone sure. really doesn't believe in you, yeah. it's just like, bro, you gotta make it work. Right. It's rough, but. Because on the f I'm, I'm, yeah. we 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 good on talking, yeah, right? Because right. right. on the flip on that, because like when you get that support, it's like a it's like a boost. So it's like although like we we're like being strong minded, it's like easy to be like yo, I right, whatever, forget that, I ain't listening. Exactly. But on the opposite side, when you get that yo, I bet that's what's up, bro. It's like you you do feel like a little up. Yeah. So I know on the negative, it, it takes some away. Yeah. But it's like it's not enough to like steer you away, but probably like to. Take you right, away a for a day. Yeah, for a yeah, little second. Yeah, a little. Yeah. So it definitely takes a toll on the mind, but on the flip though, it definitely like that's that, important. Yeah, that, yeah, that's just a boost. It's like ah, yeah. And to like to see someone like personally, in my experience, right? So my mom, once she understood, like I was trying to get a house and get mm -hmm. multiple houses, and mm -hmm. that's why I was saving money. She understood my dream and same, really trying same, to like support it. Same, right. So like when I got my crib, she was like, "You want me to get your couch?" Yeah, she was right, like, right, you right, 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 yeah, right, 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 right. I'm like, right, "No, mom, good." She still booked the couch. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how I do, mom. Yeah, my dudes, my dudes hold it down. It's just different little ways they support you because like even when I got the house, she was like, "You don't want to stay here another year and just like rent it out, yeah, yeah, more money." Right. So I think that boost is important. Yeah. So that's why I was so hard for me. I swear they be complaining while you <laughs> sleep. As soon as you leave, they be sick. Right, okay. But um okay. Yeah, that's why I was like thinking, I'm like, and maybe I could deal with the friend, but I don't know. It's hard to say, bro. Mm -hmm. It's a hard question. Yeah, it is. I said, yeah. so what y'all think? 
Right, right. So we're going to leave that one up to y'all. Y'all let us know what y'all think in the comments. For sure. We hope you enjoyed the conversation. Right. This has been another episode of Moving On Purpose. That's so it. I don't know what you're doing, but we hope you're moving on purpose. That's it. That's all we can hope for. For sure. And we out. You did. Great. Okay.